Live look right now at the MIT campus where a pro-Palestinian protest is about to get underway. And the rally is hardly the end to these protests. Demonstrators say they've been planning to stay as long as necessary. WBZ's Louisa Moller's live for us in Cambridge tonight with the very latest. Louisa. Well, David and Lisa, you know, protests and rallies are one thing. The one that's expected to take place soon behind me, organized by a Jewish group calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. But a unique part of the situation is the encampment, the tents, a very fine line for law enforcement universities to walk, especially one at Emerson College, which is in a public alley. The signs are all over this alley and these tents that Emerson students demonstrating for Palestine don't plan on leaving here anytime soon. We're here until the demands are met or we get dragged away by police. Like Emerson senior Owen Buxton, so, um, who slept in the alley the last two nights. He says he was joined by 50 to 60 others, not all students. A lot of community members, a lot of unhoused individuals have kind of joined our camp and like getting to meet them and talk to them has been like honestly incredible. The alley is a public way, with students and other citygoers walking through. WBZ security analyst Ed Davis says it reminds him of the Occupy Wall Street movement, when protesters also pitched tents on public property. During Occupy Wall Street, Mayor Menino and Bill Sennett and I would meet daily on what was happening, and we devised a plan that inv included the courts. Uh, to weigh in on whether our actions were constitutional. That's why Davis says Emerson and law enforcement must walk a fine line with this protest. You have a right to free speech, but you don't have a right to violate someone else's rights. Jewish Emerson student Margot Jubin returned to her dorm in this alley after Passover Seder last night. She says what happened next makes her question whether her rights are being protected. So they're all like linking arms, kind of blocking off the front of the alleyway. I was like, guys, I live here, like, can you please let me through? And they all just stared at me, like, dead in the face like this. Ultimately, Margot says two girls let her through. Why do you guys have the authority to, to decide who gets to go through? Now, we reached out to Emerson, Boston Police, Mayor Wu's office about how the Emerson encampment is being monitored and didn't get a return back, uh, comment back. MIT says that this encampment is small enough and that faculty and police are constantly watching it. Live in Cambridge, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Oh, Louisa, thank you.